Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching part 6 of the video C Ash Tool Strip Control. So here we are going to look at toolbar button display style. So in all our previous video, we saw a toolbar button that displays only the icon. And here if you see the toolbar button is displaying icon as well as the text. So the first one is new, this is the icon and there is a label text new. Similarly, uh, for all other item, there is a icon as well as the text, both are displayed side by side. So in this video, we are going to explore uh, display image and text. That means when user places a tick mark here, um, we will display image as well as icon and once they place a tick mark then both these option uh, will get uh, relevant to it because here we are asking to display both image and text then whether we want to display the text first or image first so that's what uh, this option means so here if you see the image first option so first image is displayed next text so that's the option here all right so we are going to implement this at runtime and we will see how to use the uh, display style of the toolbar buttons so all this video so all these uh, slides we saw in the previous uh, parts let me quickly go through it so that you will get a recap of uh, what we saw previously Now we are going to look at the display style property of the tool strip control. I mean uh, the uh, tool strip control items. So first uh, we will go ahead and implement this uh, checkbox option. Once a user places a check mark here, we will display both uh, image as well as uh, text. So that's why here we are handling the click event for that uh, checkbox. For this checkbox, then if you see here, TL strip, TL strip is our uh, control name, tool strip control name, dot item. So that means we are getting the collection of items added in it. Suppose if this is the toolbar or tool strip, and if it contains three buttons or even if we have combo box also so all these items can be retrieved through items collection so each individual item in that collection is tool strip item so this is the type that means from tool strip items property so this items property is a collection of tool strip item so we are iterating through it that means on each iteration we will point to one tool strip item so if it is a button we will point to each tool strip button so when user places a check mark here this event routine will run and each time when user places a check mark or removes it we run this procedure and when we are running each time we run a for each loop that means we will iterate through all the items in the tool strip control so on each iteration we check uh, so this particular uh, checkbox we are checking whether it is in a checkered state so if it is in checkered state that means checkered state 
a dot checkered property is true that means it's in checkered state we enable these two radio buttons why because here by placing a check mark user is stating that i want to display both image as well as a text that means a toolbar button icon as well as a text so then the question comes we want to place the text first or image first when we want to display both image and text together so since these two radio option becomes eligible now we will set uh, the enabled property to true so what is important here is we are assigning the display style property for each tool strip item remember here we are running a loop for each tool strip item item dot display style so that's the property display style then this is a enumeration constant tool strip item display style image and text so that means once you uh, set the display style with the image and text then the toolbar tool strip icon uh, button icon will display the associated text also a text in the sense we will set a text property right for each uh, toolbar button so say for example for a notepad we set a text property as say npad right so now it will display that npad icon notepad icon as well as the text npad so here in this example image first option so first image is displayed and then the text so that part we haven't yet covered here here we are just talking about displaying the image i mean toolbar button icon as well as text so here we are asking to show both image and text all right so when user removes the check mark what we want to do once again here remember when user places a check mark this event routine run when they remove it once again the event routine runs from this start that means when user removed the check mark once again we run the loop and each time we will land here when it is unchecked so that means here we are uh, setting these two property as false and then we are setting the display style as image so here image and text and when user removes the text check mark we are setting the display style as image and these two if you see this is for these two control so it should actually go out of this uh, uh, out of this uh, for loop i would say so out of for loop we can check this so that's for uh, performance here since this is just an example and tool strip buttons are very less uh, we just uh, placed it here but the uh, correct way of doing the coding is uh, running it uh, only once because these are all the radio button we no need to set its enable to property to true for each and every toolbar item present in it here we are not dealing with the tool bar button item we are dealing with a single control so it should go out of the loop all right so anyhow here it will work now if you see here once you place a check mark you can notice that a toolbar button icon is displayed as well as a text also displayed similarly icon for uh, save and text this is our npad icon and text so both displayed it together that means when user places a check mark this is what happens when they uncheck it then only image icon will get displayed all right the next one is radio button click so here we are not going to handle both the radio button why because once user places a check mark here the check mark if it was there previously here it will automatically get removed or when user places a check mark here this check mark will get removed here on this radio button that means if we implement the handler for only one that's enough so here we are 
handling the checked changed event only for this uh, txt first so once again we are running uh, for each loop for all the items that present in the tool strip control then this time we are using the property text image relation and here we make use of the enumeration constant text image relation and we supply the constant image before text it means we want to display the image before the text so already image first checked that means this is the image first when user placed a check mark here this will be true and we execute this that means here the property you have to remember is a text image relation then image before text image before text image print that's the icon before text the print text all right now when else else means user already i mean user actually placed a check mark here and this check mark will go away so text of us here text before image that's the constant we are setting to text image relation all right now since we are doing all this uh, at runtime uh, we will go to demo and we will implement this code and explore it uh, further so two property one is the display style property if you see here that's one property then here text image relation you can see the difference image before text this is the text image is coming first here text before image save before the image all right now it's demo time we will go to visual studio and implement those uh, three event routines so okay this one we will see in the next video now we will go ahead and implement uh, the first group box so i'm choosing the checkbox here then going to properties choosing the event um we can use check the change as well as click so let me go ahead with the click so we already experiment i mean explained this in the powerpoint slide now let's run this <laughs> so name tl strip that means we need to change this name okay build is succeeded now we can run so you can see these two radio buttons are in a disabled state at this moment once i place a check mark here you can see both these will get enabled also now we see both text as well as image here so when we say text first okay these two is not yet implemented and now we will implement that so the background color for the text is black right when we ran previously so if i run it again you can see that so when cursor is placed at that time only the uh, text is uh, displayed that means 
by default we have text as black so that's why when we place the con uh, cursor over the icon we see the text so if you don't like this then you can go for edit item so here whatever comes with ab that's the toolbar button so i'm just selecting only the buttons separator i am not selecting so select all the toolbar buttons then four color is the property okay you have to remove this four color here we are setting four color as white now we will run this uh, once again and you can see uh, the icon as well as text is displayed okay now we will go ahead and implement checked changed event of either one button is sufficient here i am using a text first uh, checked changed event so here also if we see we are just running a for each loop and then we are accessing the text image relation property so this is also already explained in the slide now text first so that means you can look at here text is coming first then the icon image first text first and this image first and text first these two properties are uh, applicable only when we ask for display image and text so if i uncheck it then only icon will get displayed here then these two properties are not applicable so that's why we disabled it all right now let's go back and change the color to navy again okay Okay, just now you saw the demo. Thank you for watching. Bye.